Welcome home, Bitcoin Truth Seekers. It is Wednesday, March 17th, 9.21 a.m. here in the Arizona desert. As always, go to BitcoinDailyView.com. Got more for you there. Looking at the market versus USDT or USD today. Um, Bitcoin in the red, slightly ADA definitely showing up. Cardano making big waves. It's being listed on Coinbase. That appears to be why it's cranking, but I think that's probably more of just an excuse for it to crank. A lot of passion behind the Cardano project. Filecoin and of course Link also making big moves. So let's check out what's going on in the world today. Bitcoin trading volume last 24 hours, 6.5 billion. That's a 3.4 billion of that on Binance, 1.2 billion of that on Coinbase. Nobody else showed up for work. All right, looking at Binance, where the glorious volume is 40% long, 59% shorts. So the sentiment is definitely short. Looking at the S&P 500, it's a red candle today. It was a red candle yesterday. Looking at the Russell 2000, it was a red candle yesterday. It's a red candle today. Looking at the DXY, Dollar Strength Index, well, it's cranking. One, two, three, working on its fourth green candle in a row. Definitely looking at an uptrend. It's above the 21 EMA. And it wouldn't surprise me if this month it challenges a 200 moving average on the daily chart. Well, Dollar Strength increasing. All right, looking at Bitcoin uh, specifically Bitcoin, of course, versus USDT. Not going to look at any other time frames because basically, as you can see recently, we've had some extreme volatility here. Um, <clears throat> we got below the total moving average and then we got slightly below the 314 moving average and we're kind of ranging between the 200 and the 314 moving average. We have not held support there on the 314 and if I was to do a, a, a channel here, um, which I did notice earlier, so if I was to do like this, okay, do a parallel channel, and I was to run this thing up here, as you can see, we were cruising, looking pretty good. We've definitely broken out of that upwards channel. So what does that mean? Well, uh, looking at the chart in general, you know, the directional index is in the red, um, KRI is in the red, but about to turn green, stochastic RSI is definitely, definitely oversold. So we'll have to see what happens i mean we can look at different time frames actually no the time frame we should look at for sure is the daily <clears throat> because yeah see here's a big one on the daily chart look at that getting really close to that histogram closing um of negative macd cross uh as you can see if we just look at this chart you know historically here let's just look at uh what's happened before on daily macd negative crosses here is a daily Mac, MACD cross, a daily negative MACD cross. You can see what happened there. Here's a daily MACD negative cross. You can see what happened there. And as you can see, we're starting to definitely, this little upwards thing is not helping anybody. Get rid of that. Uh, sorry for the delay. Yeah, it's great. Get rid of all of it. Boom. There we go. Um, if you look at what's kind of been happening here, <clears throat> a bit of a downtrend going on. We're about to hit a negative MACD cross. So you can see where when these happen on the daily chart. Now I know some people do definitely give me a hard time and say that the MACD is like a you know prehistoric, like should be written on clay tablets with little like cuneiform little you know pokey things and all, but no, uh, the MACD is very relevant and it has always been and it still is. And <clears throat> for for Bitcoin especially on the daily chart it seems to have a real grip on what's going on so approaching we had a negative MACD cross here you can see what happened in the chart negative MACD there see what happened in the chart negative MACD about to happen the charts are already dumping and so if we were to do this uh, forecast here we had a MACD a negative MACD cross about here let's just put it here we dumped see 25 percent a negative MACD cross about here we dumped, if I count the wick, about 25%. So, um, hmm, <clears throat> where would that leave us now if we dumped, let's say if it crosses here, wow, about here, 25%. Whoa, that would suck. That would be like um, <clears throat> 42, like, you know, 42, 43,000. So, hey, you know, it's possible. Just be watchful. Now, you could say maybe we've already started that trend. And 25% would be about um, 45k or so. So we'll just see. Um, 
you know, I am watching this, and I definitely would say I'd recommend, you know, not financial advice and any purposes only, but really put a uh, notification in for this, uh, an, an alert, because I think when that does cross negative, if it does, unless Bitcoin rallies, um, <clears throat> definitely going to see some, probably, you know, another bounce off the uh, 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 4,500, that's not 4,500, the 45,000 level, and that would make sense. I mean, there is kind of a you know, previous support and resistance here in the chart around 45k. So boom, boom, boom. Maybe we'll see that happen. On a good note, we are above the 21 EMA. That's a good thing to see here in the daily and way above the 200 moving average. So in general, this is all healthy. Not really a problem. But uh, can I can I make a channel out of this? Let's see. If, uh, yeah, I certainly can. So really, ah, uh, that's interesting. So if I was to, what's the bottom of this channel? right around um well 50 50 thousand or so so 50 55 thousand so anyway um maybe we won't go quite as far as 45 thousand anyway i won't beleaguer or beledger or whatever it is i won't beleaguer i won't beat this point to death i'm just saying that uh <clears throat> you know we're below the moving average below the 314 moving average for super immediate price action here on the 45 minute chart if we can get a green candle if we can get a little bit of uh a bit of action to rally here and we can break above you know boom and find some support in that 200 and keep moving up that could certainly happen even today just uh, be watchful a uh, negative macd cross in the daily is going to suck and probably push this down so worst case i'm thinking what 45 uh thousand uh, bounce there or maybe the bottom of that channel that we were looking at earlier around 55 so we'll see just uh, look at this. We have a, a, a girthy little green candle right there. Good, good looking candle moving up. So, directional index is beginning to correct. ADX is. It's. I don't. When this volatile, I kind of ignore it. Um, definitely not getting a positive squeeze indicator. But the KRI just turned green, and we are seeing uh, definitely over oversold here on the, uh, the stochastic RSI. So, well, it's perking up already. Let's see how it goes. Uh, like I say, my big deal is I'm watching for that negative MACD cross. And it could like cross, and we get a little bit of a dump, and then it and then and then it widens back up. It goes positive and moves. You know, we'll see. Anyway, Bitcoin indecisive. Of course, while I say that, it begins to you know get morning wood here. And <laughs> but <clears throat> here's uh, Ethereum versus USDT on the on the uh, on the 45 minute chart doing the same thing. Bitcoin's doing, although this chart looks a bit more positive. It does look like um, Ethereum versus uh, USDT could definitely make that uh, cross right above the attendant moving average there uh, in the 314, just boom. And uh, this is more of a positive chart, honestly, right now than, than uh, Bitcoin. Although if Bitcoin starts to dump, it's taking Ethereum with it. But regardless, Ethereum right now looking pretty good against USDT. Link is insane. Link versus USDT. Oh my gosh. So as you can see, it's kind of doing something that I think, honestly, if you look at this chart here, look at this chart. And then look at uh, Ethereum, even though, you know, on a daily, uh, Bitcoin's looking kind of crappy, Bitcoin could do this, just just like Link did, boom, between the 200 and uh, 314 moving average there on the 45 minute chart, and just keep on going. Now, if you look at the indicators here, KRI, the squeeze indicator, directional index, ADX, uh, stochastic RSI, everything, uh, Link is just taking the crap off versus USDT. And that's a glorious thing to see. And I'm kind of curious, uh, how is Link doing against BTC. Oh my, look at that. Man, when you're kicking it like that against USDT and BTC, it means you're on fire. These indicators look great. So, link back in the game. File coin. I think it's called file. Phil, F I L. What in the world this morning is going on? So, file, USDT. Boom! Massive rocket ship to Pluto. This thing has been off the 200 moving average for quite a while. Directional index in the green, ADX, wonderful. We had a big, beautiful squeeze. It started to re, uh, uh, die down a little bit, then boom, it's cranking again. eyes on the up and up off the charts. It's got stick RSI, shows a bit overbought, but who cares? If it gets to the top, it just rides the top while it pumps. This is wonderful. Do note that the um, eight moving average is right here. It probably will eventually snap back to that, but uh, I don't tend to get into coins that are this extended, but damn, file versus usdt phil versus usdt insane today doge okay doge um it's you know it's been sideways for quite a while doge versus usdt it's doing just fine i mean uh <clears throat> it had an epic legendary pump you know earlier 
and um, it's kind of been cooling off ever since. But we can definitely see where we need to do a four-hour chart on uh, Doge here, so we can see a little bit more. I mean, uh, on the four-hour chart, it's above the two-minute moving average, but the two-minute moving average is trending down. It also looks looks like we could see a 314 and a 200 cross with 314 crossing above. That would be a negative sign. Directional X is in the green, but the ADX is failing. We had a negative. Uh, squeeze indicator looks negative. KRI is in the red. In general, it's just building some, uh, you know, positive sideways right here. Um, you know, uh, I'm just kind of indifferent on it right now. If a person believes in Doge, then, well, it's a great consolidation phase right now. If you think it's going to continue pumping, I kind of do. I do. Um, well, there you go. <laughs> it's just not an exciting chart. Um, but I see no reason to think it's going to go up or down, really. It's just kind of sideways. And uh, honestly, I think next time, you know, Elon decides to, like, you know, put say something about it it'll be like you know and uh well you know <laughs> uh vet versus usdt um wonderful wonderful coin right here got these beautiful bounces off the 200 moving average and it looks like this one really took off it did not even come back to the 200, 200 moving average this time it hasn't uh it hasn't touched it and it's moving up again the directional x is in the green adx is too low at four, at 11 or 12. We'll have to get to at least around 20. Uh, squeeze indicator is looking good. If you do see some white ping pong balls start to fire from the squeeze indicator and the ADX is moving up quickly, it might be something to get into. Not financial advice, entertainment purposes only, but VET looking good. It's really been running recently. I don't see any reason why when it gets a little bit of testosterone flowing again, it couldn't reach the uh, the um, plateau at least, at, at like the very least that it has hit before. So. And that would be like if we look at this, that would be <clears throat> uh, a forecast from where we are now. If we went to where we've been previously, that'd be like an eight percent pump. So anyway, watch Vet. It's doing good things. It'll probably it'll probably get rocking again. ENJ has been doing great. Uh, what I like about ENJ right now, recently it came down to visit the 200 moving average. The Madrid uh, ribbons are all red. You can see that over at Bitcoin Daily View. Just look, just search, search for Madrid indicator. Uh, it's linked to over there at uh, trading view um and the directional index which is red is beginning to look towards trending green adx is moving up nicely beautifully right around 17 or 18 right now the squeeze indicator is done dumping it's starting to go positive uh, well it's got a little ways to go kri is negative but it will turn green soon and we're showing lots of over bought even though well we're not i you know more and more the stochastic rsi i just it fails me um kri tells you a lot more i think personally anyway with that said, um, I'm watching ENJ USDT. This one could start moving again, no problem. Matic, all right. So Matic has been, you know, just a dreadful frustration for many Matic hodlers because it's just been in this friggin' sideways mode for quite a while. Um, but if we do know right now, we have a green directional index. ADX is kind of low at 15. Wait for it to get about 20 past that mid range. We're starting to get into a negative squeeze, but big deal. KRI is green, but trending down. Stochastic RSI. It's my friend right now. It's saying that it's oversold. Um, so with that said, we are. We did challenge the moving average rather boldly there, and now we have not quite held it, but now we're above it again. Let's watch for some support above that 200 moving average, and I think if this uh, ADX does get around 20 or so, these, look at this indicator. It's looking great. You get a, get a positive squeeze going, and I think that Matic will be un, it'll be in just full psycho mode again. So I'm watching Matic. All right, Algorand. Everybody likes it. Well, maybe, maybe they don't like it, but I think it's kind of cool. Uh, project is being used for good things. It's a coin that has a purpose, and um, boom, it's been just consolidating sideways. Um, like a person when you like, you know how some people when you ask them how they're doing, they always say fine, but you know they're just seething with anger and misery inside. That's kind of what um, Algorand has been doing. So sideways. And, uh, but it has got above the 200 moving average. It hasn't really even gotten that close to it. The actual index is about to start peaking green. Squeeze indicator looking green. KRI in the green. Stochastic RSI. Well, it's in the buy zone. So I'm watching this guy for momentum to start moving. It definitely, definitely could. The Madrid uh, ribbons are all green. You can see by this little green diamond. So I'm watching you, Algorand. 
H bar, whatever this coin is, it was pumping earlier. And of course now it's just been dumping, like it's totally lost all of its self-confidance. Um, but it went to the bookstore, got some books on self-esteem, started reading some Tony Robbins, and it managed to pull itself up at the 200 moving average. It looks like it's finding support there. We're seeing these little these little blue uh, squares there underneath. Those are when you get a 200 moving average crosses, and it's a 45 minute chart. And so basically, if we can get support there and start moving up in some green directional index, look at this long ass misery of a uh, squeeze. Oh my God, towards the negative, just sucking ass. Anyway. Watch that to turn green. Watch the um, uh, directional index turn green. ADX is kind of in the right spot. It's right around 21. And uh, stochastic RSI just basically babbles about nothing as it usually does. And then the uh, KRI is in the green. So watch H bar, whatever H bar is, for a serious, insane move. I'm thinking it could happen. All right, with that said. As always, not financial advice and entertainment purposes only. I'm not a life coach nor a financial advisor, but I do appreciate you tuning in. I am glad you are here for the peaceful revolution. It matters because here, fear, this is the old, this is the current financial system of this world, the current fiat currency system of this world. Over here, love and this radiant Taurus. Wow, this being of just light, homo novus, the new human, the new earth. It's a beautiful place. Great things are happening. And if you're a Bitcoin hodler or you like crypto, you're not one of these fierce, small little tourist people here. You're this massive love tourist. Just, roar, you know, manifest a beautiful planet, a beautiful world. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're a Bitcoin truth seeker. And I'll see you again tomorrow.